all right so welcome to android 12 beta 1 and i have made a video about the developer preview 2 as well i skipped the 3 because there weren't major changes but yeah let's go through what we see mainly in android beta first of all you can see the build number over here if not i will show you in a bigger place over here so when you click on it it shows that you are registered into the beta program so proceed accordingly and you can post bug fixes and stuff etc first major change is obviously in the quick toggles now if we swipe down the notification shade here you can see that conversations are on top these are silent notifications and they are bundled together with this particular bubble so this screen actually shows that we are going throughout a bubble like ui everything is in its own bubble if you can see with rounded corners and squircle maybe as uh, as google calls it sometimes in their icons so you can see here if i tap on this it expands into the number of conversations i have and again says how many texts i have from that particular person so if i tap on this again it expands into the text that i have not read and here is the same as well so obviously you still have the options of making it into priority and stuff like that so when you apply that you can see that uh, the conversation has been come here and uh, and the profile picture they use is on the no notification over here and if you drag down it will always be on the top and you can see this particular circle here that's what happens when it's a priority so you can see the design language actually carries over all of the places now when i expand this you can see all the quick toggles over here a major change into the brightness slider i wish the brightness slider was down here because it's again at the top of the screen you should have it at the bottom of the screen to make it easier for reachability in bigger devices but yeah you can swipe and see everything is very much graphic the settings icon is bigger and not just in the corner like in android 11 that's another difference and uh, the dark mode is not exactly dark it has a gray overlay if you see this light mode also has a particular tint it's not exactly white all right so now you have an idea about the always on display over here it's very contextual it's very similar and the good part is the transition between the always on display and the actual display you can see over here it's very smooth another thing i noticed is all the notifications over here are translucent you can see through them but when you drag it down it becomes solid and merges with the notification shade ui so that's something interesting not just that uh, you must have seen the huge clock over here now if i dismiss all my notifications then the clock expands into the complete lock screen so that's something interesting uh, obviously the clock takes less priority when you have more notifications and when i swipe up now you can see this ui this is also be going to carry over into the calculator app etc you can see the design language carrying over over here as well with rounded corners now the main thing which google showed and which got us hyped up was the ui and in the ui we had something called as material u but unfortunately that isn't working right now like if i change the wallpaper to another color theme technically the theme should change by itself but in my pixel 4a it isn't working at the moment and i confirm from a few more pixel 4a users they haven't received it yet as well hopefully it will come into the beta 2 properly implemented so yeah unfortunately i cannot display that to you but you can see the transitioning between the dark and the light theme is very gradual this time and nothing very jittery it gradually gets applied you can see a very gradient effect when i change into it and that's pretty nice uh, another thing which is a major change is in the ui when you hit the end of any menu so you can see this bounce like stretchy animation when you hit a particular menu in the end by the way this is how the new settings app looks this is in dark mode and i will turn on light mode again and yeah this is how it looks in light mode there are no separations there are no lines over here it's pretty clean and that's something it's personal preference next let's go into some interesting widgets now the new clock widget which was shown in the io event is not coming up over here on my pixel 4a unfortunately but 
I can show you a few more interesting widgets maybe. So let me change back for visibility over here. Yeah, now you can see. So you can see widgets over here, it pops up and it comes up as a card and not as a whole window right now. And you can see these are the suggested widgets that are popping up on the top. You can search them as well. That's a good thing. And everything is listed under its categories and the different orientations of it are listed over here. The most interesting one over here is conversations. Now, conversations is a widget that was teased in the developer previews throughout. Now here I have a preview. As you saw, I have a few messages over here. So although it's a priority, this is how the conversation widget looks like. Now for me, it has been buggy. It didn't really work, but let me just try and open it. And yeah, as you can see, it's not really working. And that's the problem I have been facing as well. So this is very buggy. Now talking of which you can again see the you can expand this. Although it's not showing the conversation over here. I think if they list down the conversation over here, that would be really nice. Also, you can see the rounded theme of Android 12 going around even when you select the widgets over here. So yeah, this is the conversations widget is something I really find interesting. I hope they fill in more information over here but if i click it i can't really go to the app now this i feel is a bug i've tried all the menus and it really does not work and obviously have your priority contacts over there as well now these did not work initially for some reason and that was very odd but yeah those are also there so you can go to system and gestures over here you have a power menu hold for assistant so now you can press the power button long enough for a couple of seconds and it will trigger the google assistant so right now if i press the power menu it brings up the device control center now if i switch this on you can see the google assistant has come up over here so another thing is if i go into the recent menus you can see that there are circular uh, tops here and they move kind of like this not just that you can swipe up to obviously dismiss it and you can see the other window coming in closer so the animations are pretty sweet and if you drag it down it becomes full screen and fills up the window so that's pretty nice and intuitive i feel another few changes which you have seen is the toggles uh, the toggles do look a bit different uh, over here it's inconsistent this is like the old style but if you go here you can see the tick over here which makes it show that it's on all right now let's move into battery now the new battery section looks like this as you can see one-handed mode and stuff like that will be activated later on so that is going to help with this ui yes it resembles similar things like one ui but this is how it looks and you can see if you go into usage this is how it will look now unlike before all right not just that you obviously still have one-handed mode so when you swipe down from here you can use the whole ui with one hand and it can be done in any app to be very honest like for example although this is not working um, you can just pull down over here and you can tap here to go back and uh, not just that you can just tap back to go back to the home screen as well let's say you have been to a particular web page for example like this and you drag it down from the home button over here you can obviously use it and when you hit back it goes to the home page and not back but only when you hit back and goes to the home screen it's still staying there ideally it shouldn't but yeah that's how 100 mode works okay few more things like you can see over here i will try to show it on slow-mo but when you click a particular selection you can see some sparkling effects in the corners let me just hold it over here and you can see some glitter like effects in the corners of the selection now this is very unique i don't know how i really feel about it saw it in dark mode let's try it in light mode now yeah it's still happening but not really that visible in light mode all right another few things on the home screen only if you see the volume toggle over here is very different it's kind of similar to the brightness slider you just saw and to change the profiles you can just click on it and it will change so it does not take up a lot of space and that's kind of nice i feel and also you can so next is picture in picture mode you can see if i go home the picture in picture mode will come up so this was there on android 11 as well but now what you can do is just drag it till the end of the screen 
and now you can also do two finger pinch you just don't have to drag it and you have multiple sizes you just don't have one not just that now you can place it in multiple places on the home screen that's nice also you can just put it to the side and it will keep playing and you don't have to like disable the video or something and you can just touch it once and it will come back and you can see the headphone icon here so if you click on that the video will just go off and it will keep playing over here on the player so the few things we expect over here how different permissions have been used in this privacy section that activity log should be there which is pretty good we should get the notification for usage of location camera and microphone and also we should get a quick toggle of disabling it as well as announced in google io i'm very excited about android 12 and all these changes coming in this is probably the biggest ui overhaul since android 10 maybe so it's quite interesting let's see how what it pans out i will keep you updated about beta 2 for this particular pixel 4a unfortunately like i mentioned the theming options are not coming up so that's pretty much it about android 12 beta 1 hopefully the beta 2 will add on the features that were announced today in google io so that's been it for today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video